Hi guys, and welcome to the very first Realm Builder Tools tutorial. I'm Arnie, and I will be the creator for this series that will cover all the ins and outs on the tools from building your very first Realm all the way up to the more technical and advanced stuff, including some juicy tips and tricks along the way. In this very first video, however, we'll keep it very basic. I will teach you on how to create your first Realm. Uh, mind you that the Builder Tools are on PC only. So we either need a laptop or a desktop in order to follow these steps. First off, you want to be heading off to the realm.art website. I assume you already have a realm account. If not, you can get it from clicking on one of these two links that will take you to the Google Play or App Store. Download the app, log in, create your account and start playing. We want to be heading over to the create section up here. Press download realm builder tools. And this will take you to the itch.io website where our realm hosts its downloadable link. Scroll down a bit, press download now, and it will give you this prompt. Um, the tools are completely free. Uh, this is just an optional donation page if you wanna. Uh, if don't, if you don't want it, uh, that's fine either way. Um, doing either one of those two things, you will be greeted with a Mac download or a Windows version. If you're on Linux, you can probably get it to run through a, uh, a virtual machine. Um, I suggest to head over to the official channels and ask in there if you want to try that out. I'll be on Windows now, so you want to press on download and it will be very quick anyway. This is currently zipped. What you want to do is extract it. For me, I'll be putting it on my desktop for now. Let's create a folder real quick. Realm Builder, select it, and then say Extract. Now it's already extracted. What you want to do is double click on the Realm Builder application and you will be greeted with a Windows protected your PC. So Windows recognize this as a risk. However, it is not. It's just because it's an executable. You want to click on More Info and say Run Anyway. This will start up the builder tools, and this is where your Realm account uh, comes in place, or not. Okay, it already logged me in, I'll log out quickly. So what will happen is you will be greeted with this page, just let, log in with your Realm credentials and sign in. And this will take you to the login page. Obviously, my screen already has a couple of realms sitting here. Yours will be empty, and what you want to do is press on Create a New Realm, and it will drop it at the very bottom of the list. I already did this, so I'll be opening up this one. So once inside your realm, you'll be greeted with this view. On the top, we've got a couple of buttons. We'll go over them real quick. On the top left, we've got the X. Pressing this will go back to your main menu where you logged in into the builder. Um, this is the name of your realm. It's on title. We're in draft mode because it's not published. We've got a drop down bar here with environmental settings, generate template, and palette manager. This will be things we'll be featuring in a different video. We've got a button to the left and an arrow to the right over here. This will this will undo your last current action and this will redo it. So let's say you did a little mistake. Pressing the undo button will remove it and redo will replace an item. Up here we've got select shortcut V, builds shortcut B and destroy shortcut X. This is for the camera, these two. Uh, this one means that you're fixed on the realm's location, as we are right now. If I hold the right mouse button, it will just circle around a set point of view inside the realm, like so. Pressing this one will go over into the free cam, and it will just look up and down, and you can move around using the W, A, S, and D keys. If you hold down shift together with that, it will move you faster. This is what I usually use because it lets you zoom in uh, more closely on creations and it's easier to build like detailed stuff. 
Load button currently grayed out, doesn't do anything. Save in order to save your realms, obviously. Play lets you play test your realm in the current tools. This button creates a snapshot. So whatever you have in your current view will reflect on the image preview inside the app. And on the far right, we've got a shortcut um, with all the shortcuts for different functionality. I suggest you uh, look that up on your own time. At the bottom, we've got the bar showing basic terrain, nature, and all the other stuff. These are basically packages that are provided by Realm in order to build your realms. Uh, if you hover over with your mouse, it actually opens these up. Uh, so let's go over to basic for now. Uh, there's actually more in here that's currently displayed and you can scroll using your mouse wheel in order to uh, go through all of these. So there's actually two things that you need in order to publish your first realm and that's a spawn point and a snapshot preview. So we'll be creating like a base to go off with first. What I'll be doing is I'll press Control alt it's a shortcut that lets you track like a larger area. Pressing V to select it and get out of the build modus. Select smart object, select this blue icon. It's actually a spawn point. You would think it's the orange one, but it's not, it's the blue one. Press that down, press V once again. Uh, and you can check it if it works by pressing the play up there. Well, it does, it spawned us in. This is like the first platform that we have. If you press control, you will get your mouse back and you can press stop to go back into the editor mode. Uh, for now, let's place a couple of trees just to give it a little bit of life. Let's open the nature pack, left click to place it. If you press R, it actually rotates the asset. So not everything looks exactly the same. Can get a couple more in there just for the heck of it. Uh, press save and your realm is currently saved. So in order to publish it, we need a snapshot. So what we want to do is get this good and cozy inside of the frame. Click the snapshot button and it just created the snapshot. So what we want to do is head out right now, top left, exit it, and you will see the preview up here. If you don't think this is fine, you can go back in and create a different snapshot if you want. You're freely to do so. And we want to open up these three buttons up here, edit realm details, and you can give your realm a name. Let's call this one my first realm. And the description is a tutorial video. Press save, so that's save, so you can represent here the name and its description. Press it again, press publish, and congratulations, your first realm should be live viewable inside the app. All right, that wraps it up for the very first video. Yes, it's very basic, but you're free to explore and expand your realm as you see fit. Next time I'll be touching on building on different heights and give your realm more flair using the environmental settings. Uh, until then, cheers guys and see ya.